cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into be ready right now so now in the list we have facade design pattern so basically facade design pattern simplifies the complexity with unified interface now if i give you a quick answer this is exactly what you had been doing any time before this video itself you are always 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 trying to use facade to give your consumer a well easy behavior but now specifically we will see this term itself facade design pattern but I assure you, you had been using so far every day. Cool. So basically, it simply says that I will give you a very easy way to perform any action. For example, playing music, playing a watching a video, viewing image, any action you perform, I'll give you a very simple thing: perform action, and then the action. That's it. This is the only thing which you have to worry about. Just call that action. That's it. Period. I will not ask you to perform ten different tasks just to play a music. i will not ask you to do the same for example playing a music i will not ask you to initialize audio drivers decoding audio formats managing playbacks no i will simply tell you perform action play music that's it done and that is this entire you know this entire underlying complexity is handled by fasa so the issue which we are trying to solve here is that user want a simple and intuitive interface again the challenge here is the underlying functionality for that specific task can be very complex and again it could be literally very diverse as well so i don't want to expose everything directly to him no obviously it will firstly overwhelm the user to you know write everything down all these steps and also if he writes all these steps down then there's more likelihood of error errors as well for example what i mean by errors as well is If I want to play a music, I will not ask him to write all these steps down. No, I will not do that. Although he can, he can play the music by this. He can play the video by this. He can view the image by this. But no, it's very less flexible because every time I have to do some change, I have to come inside here. Issue. It is very hard to maintain because you will have to always take care of these steps everywhere you want to play a music. Secondly, it's very complex. Literally, it's very complex. Just to look at this code, it's very complex. So we realize that we have a very high uh, risk of bugs, especially whenever we want to change an existing implementation. We are screwed up, and complexity is insanely high. Now, the the part is that you are not reusing any code, and the scalability is close to zero. So. which is because we have many things repetitive error prone and super hard to extend so the task will come up that the interview might ask if i want to support any new media players for example ebooks or podcast and i want to test my specific functionality of playing a music or you know reading an ebook or playing a podcast if i want to replace the functionality of ebook then i am screwed up because i will have the entire steps i will have to replicate these steps i will have to change these steps there is no way to test these steps if i want to change it i have to change it entirely i am screwed up so what will happen obviously if you implement ebooks and podcast you will implement same way and again you are screwed up why because it's very tightly coupled firstly you are hard coding technically things on to your main class which is very bad now you might say i don't obviously i will not do that and that's the reason i told you in the very beginning that facade is what you had been doing since so long so uh, obviously with this you know bad piece of code it happens that it is very poorly maintained and there is zero flexibility and zero scalability now comes our savior <laughs> which is turn one which is facade which will simply say that i will delegate all the requests to appropriate subsystems and they will handle that the consumer or the client will not have to care about the complexity so i'll hide entire complexity of my subsystem with some clean and simple interface for us the clean interface is just you know perform action 
perform action and then I can give up give up any action whatever he wants to perform so what will happen obviously I can have a music player right it will have some steps to it okay great it is linked to a music player same way I can have a video player it will have some steps to it same way I can have a image viewer it will have some steps to it now comes the awesome part which is a media facade it will say no worries every client will technically call me which is facade and I will handle all the complexities again you might say Aryan this is if else if else if else will you do like this no but the essence of this video is just to focus on facade pattern although you can use other design patterns which we have seen in the other videos just so that you don't have to write all these and you can break it into, into individual classes as well it's completely allowed we can have a context a handler which will perform this operation and we have seen in many other design pattern videos as well but entire essence here is the complexity is handled by a facade now and not the consumer so consumer will simply call a perform action of my facade and that's what gonna handle the actions so in my main function i will simply call my media facade with saying bro simply perform this action and then my client only calls this one thing and then the action is performed so what happened here you had a media facade where you have you know you're using a music player video player image viewer and then your client is actually interacting with the facade itself thus all the complexity is hidden inside this facade so what are the advantages obviously i give you a very simplified interface that you just have to call this and you are done it's very highly decoupled because now i don't have to worry about every music player media player and so on and so forth so i'm pretty good with that scalability is super awesome if i in future want to add any other thing i can add that and again my facade will handle that as well uh, the flexibility is also very large because uh, the things can change internally and will not impact each other and thus i'm pretty good some real life use cases as we saw uh, smart home systems you know you can pro give a facade so as to handle anything for managing lights thermometer like thermostats security cameras basically you are just giving your client a simple thing the client will call this internally you handle you know just operation on lights thermostats security cameras and so on and so forth payment gateways as well you can just simply have a facade so that uh, you know you can just remove all the complexities out of interacting with a payment system same way for database management as well for multiple application as well cool so what you realize in this facade is that whenever although i have mentioned that you have been using so far so there's no worry on that but you were primarily trying to say that complex things i'll just wrap it around in a facade and i'll provide a unified interface which will hide all this you know complexities which will make things maintainable, scalable and flexible and also much more good looking as well. Cool. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure that we hit the like target of 250 likes. Bye bye. See you next video of next design pattern, which is decorator. Bye.